used cells jammed into a case, lies all over it. This is how bad a battery can be. Hi, it's Clark on Temptress. Today, we're gonna to look at possibly the worst battery I've ever seen. I don't think this is a real candidate for the best lithium battery challenge, but I wanted to talk about it. This is a KEHK battery. I know I'm recently on record for saying, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all, but this is an exception. A friend bought a whole bunch of these on AliExpress, um, and there were failures, and he brought one of the failures over to me, because he'd like to know why it failed and what's going on inside, me too. And, you know, I would have just cut it apart, figured it out, told him about it, but I want to share this one because, you know, outwardly, this looks like a great battery. If you really didn't know anything about batteries, you might fall for some of their things. I mean, their, their terminals are kind of really great. They're all some kind of a copper alloy, and they're, they're real nice and easy to grab and gnarled, and there's a little display that probably doesn't tell you much because you can't tell much about lithium. But the reason I chose this and why we're going to tear it down and figure out what the heck's going on and what's on inside this is it is plainly labeled 500 amp hours. Uh, I went on AliExpress. They're still selling these today. I had to find it from a Russian translated site, but they are still selling these and they're still selling them as 500s. That is not 500. I am not that strong. Lithium iron phosphate weighs quite a bit. It weighs about 25 pounds per 100 amp hours at 12 volts. So by that, this should weigh 125 pounds, and I think it weighs about 40, somewhere in there. So it's probably a 200 amp hour being generous, and they sold it as a 500. So, gloves are off, man. I'm gonna figure out what's going on and tell everybody about it because that is an out and out lie. What it's done is it will not take power. Uh, I hope my power supply to it, and this is not like a battery charger that might say, oh, that's too low to safely charge. Mine is a bench power supply. It has complete, I have complete control over what it does and it is applying high voltage, relative speaking, you know, 12, 13 volts to these poles and they are off. But when I remove the, um, the charge source and put my meter on it, I get nine and a half volts. So the battery's not completely dead inside and the BMS is not completely off, but it is not accepting charge. Um, nine and a half is pretty low, but it's probably the cells are still good. Let's find out what's going on. Got to cut it apart. I'll have to take it outside for that. And since I don't have much respect for this battery, in fact, um, it all looked nice when it came to me. I've had it outside because I have very little respect for this battery and the sun, you know, got to the labels. Um, I'm going to cut the top right off. I'm not going to try to salvage the case or anything. Uh, so this will be a lot easier for me. off and I took a little peek out there it's scary let's get a real look <clears throat> well that's surprising okay there's corrosion all over um, everything on this side I'm going to assume the corrosion is caused because very obviously the, the cells have all expanded and popped now, this battery never got any really hard life, according to my friend. I believe him. He has no reason to make stuff up. Um, so, I think these are likely used cells in bad shape when they put them in. Well, let's see what the cells are. Oh, CATL, that's the good cells. And 3.2 volts, so they're lithium iron phosphate. 275 watt hours. Um, 
Let me just do a quick calculation. So 275 watts divided by 3.2. So these are 85.9, 86 amp hour cells. It's two in a pair. So that would be uh, 172. So they say that this is a 500 amp hour battery and it's 172 amp hour battery. That's just ridiculous. Also, I don't, these are great big cells. These are the size of kind of a 200. When I first opened it, I thought maybe they weren't lying too badly. Nobody's had this power density in a long time. So these cells are ancient old, ancient old. Looking closely at the cells, I see what probably are dates. This is um, 0423, so that would be on like February 3rd of 04. That is the oldest. Um, if they are dates, this one is 2015. Uh, this is 07, no, 04, um, 11, 12, 02. Wow. Um, yeah, those are the ones I can read. The rest of them are kind of blurred out. Um, I'm pretty darn sure that these are absolutely used cells just because I don't think you could buy cells this big with that little power. I took off the one line here to kind of make it safer. I guess I shouldn't have to worry too much because there's almost no voltage in the collection. But look at this line. This is the main positive coming up to the terminal and they wrapped it in strapping tape because it's what they happen to have. And <laughs> they just bolted a couple wires together of sizes they happen to have hanging around on their bench. And um, I mean, that's ridiculous. This kind of tape, it's, it's almost not even sticky anymore comes loose. If that touches that, this is a fire. Um, it, it hadn't done that yet, or I would have blamed the cells exploding on that happening. But, ah, oh, this is gross. Um, yeah, this is just an amazing mess. So they absolutely lied about the size of the cells. This is not a 500 amp hour battery. Um, I thought it would be a two, and it's not a two. Um, they've just done an absolute poor um, assembly here. And let's take a look at the BMS. I think it's over here. Oh, and they just jammed um, foam in and then they use this celastic, I think it's called, just like silicon caulk. Anyway, let's see if I can break this out safely. This battery is like seriously dead. I probably shouldn't have to worry about safely too much, but I'm getting it out. Here we go. Ah, there we go. All right. I broke some uh, of the foam out. That'll give me some room to work. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to use a knife. Okay. I'm going to use scissors. Um, carefully. But it's more of this uh, strapping tape. Don't want to cut a wire. I think I better take out the negative side. I like those terminals though. It's silly, but I just kind of like them. All right, and then I'll finally take out this wire.
It's an itty tiny little BMS, just, just jokingly small. And the way it was packed in there, it couldn't get rid of any heat anyway. I doubt this, this, this could be a, a 50 amp BMS, 50 amp uh, continuous discharge, no more. Uh, pull the wire off. Like all BMSs, it has a, a, a set of sense wires so it can check all the cells. And then uh, the main battery ground comes in and then this becomes the ground terminal. Um, <laughs> itty bitty wire, uh, that's probably like, eh, maybe it's more than 10 gauge, maybe it's 8 gauge, but I, I don't think it's 8 gauge. I think it's, it's probably one of those 9 gauges that the Chinese use just to be able to be as small as they can. Um, so it's, it certainly wouldn't handle more than 50 amps, uh, which is not what it claims on the case. All right, I don't even know what to say. I, I made a joke a while ago that my mother said, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And there's nothing nice to say about this. Um, used cells put into a, a, a case. I'm gonna stick behind the used cells because they're just such an odd size that um, they're way too big for the amount of amp hours that they claim. So nobody makes it like this anymore. So used cells jammed into a case, lies all over it. This is how bad a battery can be. Um, this is why you want to watch my videos or other people's videos. A lot of people doing good reviews on videos. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I guess maybe the worst one I've taken apart is the fence, but you know, it really is cheap and they didn't lie about anything. This thing is nothing but lies. Um, just absolute joke how it's assembled. Uh, this is criminal. Don't buy criminal. Um, it's, it's important. I'm just shocked. I don't have nothing to say here. Uh, <laughs> make sure you've seen somebody open up a case before you buy the battery. I just didn't imagine it could ever be this bad. Well, we now know why it failed. Uh, we now know a lot about it. And I'm sad to say my friend bought quite a few of them. He's operating his boat on them. He's never done a load test, but uh, the ones that are operating, now he knows what's inside. Um, guess that's about all I have to say about that. Uh, be careful out there. Bye from Clark on Temptress, and uh, hope you liked the video.